This is the uh, Cougar military transceiver. Um, it is a um, low-band VHF radio, like the uh, PRC-77. This particular one uh, is like uh, mint. I don't think the uh, vehicle adapter was ever used. The uh, actual transceiver module that shifts, that slides in here, is almost like brand new. It is uh, complete with the uh, interconnect cables. This is the control cable. This is the uh, antenna cable, the RF cable that goes to the vehicle adapter, which has an amplifier. And the antenna output basically goes here. They're all TNC connectors, so they're not going to vibrate loose when it's in your vehicle. Uh, the vehicle adapter is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it is the uh, TA4523L. TA4523L. And it gives off 20 watts, I think, maximum. The, uh, the actual transceiver units, which can also be used portable as a uh, handheld device, is the PRM4515L. PRM4515L which we'll show you later outside the cradle. Uh, the radio is capable of uh, encrypted voice, digital encryption. Uh, here you see the channel selector. And here you see the, uh, the selector for the encryption keys. There is encryption key A and B, and there is clear, and N allows you to zero as the, uh, the encryption key in case the radio is about to fall into enemy hands. Very rugged device. It's a tactical military radio. It's not very big. You can see compared to my hand. Uh, there is a uh, microphone. This particular one is also like brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. Which also has the speaker integrated in it. And the uh, power connector is uh, here on the back. This also holds the fuses and everything. Uh, this is to ground it to the vehicle. Again, I don't think it's ever used. And this goes to uh, a 12 volt supply. We have it hooked up here to my trusty DM330MV. Uh, uh, and we'll uh, show you the uh, demonstration. Radio is uh, basically manufactured by Tails. Well, actually, it was uh, uh, Raycal. And I think Raycal just was acquired by Tails. And it was basically made under that name. Uh, Tails, the friends call it Thales. So uh, you take your pick what you like more. So I'm going to show you the uh, actual transceiver module outside the cradle. And then we'll uh, demonstrate you the uh, performance of the unit. Here I have removed the uh, actual transceiver uh, from the uh, uh, vehicle adapter slash power amplifier. Uh, as you can see, it's the uh, PRM uh, 4515L transceiver, PRM 4515L, and it can obviously be used as a handheld device if you clip a battery pack on here. Uh, here you see the uh, controls again, the uh, 10 channel control, the uh, clear voice, and this is for encryption key A, encryption key B, and if you press it to the neutral and you also have to uh, operate this lever here then you can clear the uh, or zero eyes they call it the uh, the actual encryption keys obviously when this radio was sold in the surplus market those were all erased so that's not in here although the encryption board is in this particular one that option is installed so if you have the key loader you can activate the uh, encryption voice encryption it's digital Raycal uh, uh, format encryption, so it's not some kind of silly uh, uh, cyber reversal concept. It's a real digital encryption, which uh, cannot be hacked. It's very lightweight, all uh, die-cast aluminum, and very rugged. Here you see the uh, actual uh, vehicle adapter without the unit. This is the control cable, and this is the uh, antenna cable. Right, to demonstrate you this uh, radio, we'll use this uh, handheld radio that I have as a uh, uh, opposite station. This is also a FM modulated uh, uh, transceiver, which I programmed 
uh, for 10 channels that are uh, then matched to the ones that are in the uh, in the uh, Cougar. Now this radio has a 150 Hertz NATO squelch they call it. That squelch is always on except when you turn off the uh, 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 squelch at the end. I'll show you that. We'll turn it on. We'll start with low power here. Uh, unit is on now. Of course you don't hear that because the squelch is uh, on. This is uh, squelch off. And that is off with loud volume. So let's give it a try. We're on channel 1. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Testing. We're on channel one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Testing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Testing. We are on channel one. All right. We'll try a few more channels. Channel four. Channel 4 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 testing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're on channel 4. Channel 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are on channel 4. Channel 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Low power. Low power. Okay, we're on higher power now. I'll tell you what we do. We'll go to high here. We'll set this here for high. And then you can see the differences. Now we're on medium. This is medium. And here we are on low. We are on low power uh, right now. Now if I switch it to low power, basically the amplifier is out of the circuit, then it's only the uh, transceiver itself. Medium and high, then the, uh, the amplifier is active, as you can hear. You can hear a relay click. If I keep it in low power, you won't hear that. low power the uh, amplifier is out of the circuit. So uh, like I said we have 10 channels uh, 1 to 0 which is 10. Try channel 9 quickly. One, two, three, four, five, channel nine actually. Zero is ten. One, two, three, four, five, we're on channel nine. And here we are on channel nine with the handheld. Now like I said, radio has a NATO squelch of 150 Hz PL tone. Unfortunately commercial radios don't have that. So if I turn on the uh, if I turn on the uh, PL squelch on the unit, it won't open it. But if you have a PRC-77, uh, that also has a NATO squelch, so that will work, work perfect. Military equipment has 150 hertz squelch. Commercial, uh, commercial equipment do, does not support that, unfortunately. So if I use this with a commercial radio, I, uh, I have to turn off the squelch, unfortunately. All right. Um, what we're going to do now is demonstrate you the radio with a uh, real antenna. And I'll give this uh, handheld unit to a friend of mine who lives about five miles away from here, so then we can actually show it uh, in a real uh, in a real uh, uh, RF connection. Like I said, this one is like new; it almost looks like it has never been used, and uh, it's extremely rugged. Everything is die-cast aluminum. Nothing feels cheap about this radio. 
All right, let's see how the radio is going to do uh, in the real chat. We're still in the squelts. I'll take it off the squelts. We're on high power. And uh, we have an external antenna, obviously. Seems to work. Zebra 1 calling Zebra 2. Zebra 1 calling Zebra 2. Over. Zebra 1, here is Zebra 2. Do you copy? Over. Zebra 2, uh, yeah, I copy you. 5x9, 5x9. Good signal. How is uh, my signal? Over. Uh, zebra 1, uh, excellent copy. 5x9. Loud and clear. Over. Are you using the Cougar military radio? Over. Yes, yes, I'm uh, using the uh, the Cougar. How does it sound? Over. Sounds just fine. Uh, how much power are you running? Uh, at the moment it's uh, full power, 20 watts. Uh, I'll switch it to 10. Hang on. All right, that's done. Uh, how does this sound? Over. Uh, zero two, zero one. Uh, yes, uh, sounds same. No change. Still five by nine. Over. All right, that's uh, that's good. I'll, I'll switch to the lowest power. Uh, that's basically the radio without the vehicle adapter being active. So that's only the handset. Hang on. All right, this is uh, uh, lowest power. How does this sound? Over. Uh, zebra two returning. Uh, it's about five or five. Good copy, but uh, some noise starts to creep in. Uh, but don't forget, I'm only using the uh, small rubber duck on this HD at the moment. Over. Uh, zebra one for zebra two. Okay, I understand. I'll I'll go back to twenty. Hang on for a second. All right, I uh, I'm back on twenty watts now. Twenty watts. Uh, is the noise gone now? Over. Alright, looks like uh, this radio is working. We're at channel 4 now, can you switch to channel 8? Just for the heck of it, I'll, uh, I'll call you there. If it doesn't work, just come back to channel, uh, um, uh, to channel 4 again, alright? Uh, sure, I'll do. Uh, switching over now. Zebra 1 for Zebra 2. Zebra 1 for Zebra 2. Still working over? Zebra 2 returning, yes. Uh, sounds exactly the same as the other channel. How much is the frequency uh, between those uh, two channels? Over. I don't think it's that much. It's about half a megahertz. Uh, a half a megahertz, I estimate. Over. Okay. Well, like I said, no difference between the two. Uh, it's a 10 channel radio, right? That's right, uh, 10 channels, uh, over. More than you will ever need. That's correct. In any case, uh, I think we can call it a uh, successful test. Uh, thanks for your help. I think we can give the equipment a clean bill of health, over. Uh, yes, I agree. Uh, I think I'll swing by later today to have a look at the Cougar. I'm uh, getting curious now. You said it is in mint condition? Uh, I'd like to have a look at it, over. Yeah, mint condition is like it's never used. Uh, so yeah, yeah, just come over, no problem. I should be here for the rest of the afternoon, so any time is good with me, all right? All right, see you later then. Zebra 2 out. Roger that, Zebra 1 out. All right, that seems to work. The military Cougar VHF low band radio, tactical radio. Allowing voice encryption and made by uh, Tails or Thales when you come uh, from France. Very nice radio. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.